Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach. I'm Joe Johnson and I'm joined by several special individuals from the community. We have Randy Stetson, Chuck Haskin, and Bob Mahan from VFW Post 334. And they're here to promote their upcoming Poppy Drive, correct, gentlemen? Correct. correct. Uh, can you give us a little history, Randy, of, of the, the Poppy sales and, and how it impacts the VFW? Well, we, we've been doing it for several years. Uh, Especially, it's our highest uh, amount of money that we make, but a lot of the money goes out towards our veterans in the community. We donate a lot of money to the fish and uh, various different other groups. So That's fantastic. So tell me how it works. We've seen you guys on the roads and stuff, so how do you organize that? How do you make it happen? Well, we have a schedule. I usually do all the scheduling, and uh, of course we go through all the checks with uh, uh, Orion Township and stuff like that to give us permission. We have permission for every place that we go and every road that we're on, we have a, a permit for that. Mm. I know the people get tired of it, <laughs> but it, it's such a great thing. It helps a lot, a lot of people, so. Yeah, I would imagine a challenge you face today, and Chuck, I think you and I had talked about yeah. this a while back. Not a lot of people carry cash on them anymore. Does that pose challenges when you're out there? Your drive? It, it does, but a lot of people, if they don't have the cash, they'll come back. Oh, wow. Oh, they'll go inside and try to get some cash somewhere. So yeah. that's, that's happened several times. So. And I assume there are other ways to donate. If you don't have the cash on you when you're out and about, how else can somebody donate? They can, if they get their checkbook with them, we'll take checks. Oh, wow. To us, it's the same thing as cash. But uh, we also have each one of our members, our post office box. So they can send money to that box and uh, we'll take it there, you know, send a check in. And we do get quite a few people that physically, they, especially with COVID in the last couple of years, people couldn't go out. So that uh, once we started our program, they would turn around and send checks into the post office box, and uh, which we really appreciate. That's fantastic. Do either of you, any of you know how the poppy became the symbol of the VFW's drive? It's, yeah, it was, what's his name, uh, Colonel McCree or something? John yeah, McCree. Or? John McCree, yeah. John McCree. Uh, World War I, but, but, uh, basically, and uh, I don't know the whole thing. I should, but I don't. Well, yeah, he, he, was, he was a Canadian uh, poet, and one of his good friends uh, passed away in, in World War I, and he was out there for the sermon, and it was in, in Belgium, and the, the cemetery they had for our troops at that time was basically a poppy field. Mm -hmm. So he was there for a very sad occasion for his friend, but he also he came up with the poem for the buddy poppies that represents not only his friend, but for all the ones that were lost in World War One. And mm -hmm. uh, the representative was that buddy poppy. And the uh, VFW, turned around and uh, signed up with the, a group that was trying to get recognition of this around the world. Because uh, the Buddy Poppy program is not just a U.S. program. It's in Canada, it's in England, it's right. in France, it's in Australia. And they're a little bit different, but just basically it's the same thing. Canada, like we have our little red flower that we hand out. They have a red and they have a white one but they're made from ceramics versus ours. It's just a little piece of cotton yeah. and a little bit different. And uh, so that program kicked up. This is World War One, And all the years since then, we've been doing buddy poppies. Hmm. And it's always around Mother's Day. And we go out to, uh, like this year for the uh, second and third weekend in May. And uh, we'll be out there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, be it warm, be it cold, be it raining, hmm. be it snowing. We will be there. You might get all of that in one day, the we, way things are. Yeah, the way the weather is, we have no idea. <laughs> but in history past, that is done. But we couldn't do none of this if it wasn't for the support of the stores, um, like Kroger's, Ace, Bass Pro, that have invited us to be on their property for oh, those nice. weekends. And as Randy said, we have permits from each one of them to be on their properties and do this. So. And we have a few streets, not too many streets, but we have them located in, in different areas. Nothing on a, a major road, it's on the side roads. Mm -hmm. It'd be 
for the protection of our guys. Yeah. Now the money that's collected here in Lake Orion is it does it stay here locally in Lake Orion? The our post we call it North Oakland. So we're yeah we're, we're physically uh, where we meet is in the Lake Point Community Church over on Drainer Road in Oxford. But uh, do we do things in uh, Lake Orient? A ton of things in Lake oh, Orient. Sure. Especially like the high school. We do things with the Orient Veterans Memorial. Um, a few years ago, we made a oh, it was like $10,000 donation to that new baseball field we put up for the oh, disabled. The miracle field. Yeah, miracle field. Yeah. Yep. So the money that we come in goes into what we call the relief fund. And the only thing that can be spent on that refund is charitable events for the community, for veterans, or to keep the history of a veteran going, like memorials and things like that. Okay. So, but that's all that money can be spent on. And as Randy mentioned here in the spring, we had the uh, fish, which we turned around and sponsored a shelf there. Um, we also just recently in Oxford Fire Department, they're starting a program to put smoke detectors into the seniors' homes and throughout the town. We're going to kick it off next month. Also yeah, next the month. Jaws of Life, too. Yeah. We've done mm -hmm. that for them. So, so, the, uh, so we donated uh, $5,000 to them to help kick their program off and challenge the other organizations. And they've had uh, an insurance company in Oxford donate $1,200. They had American Legion Oxford donate $4,000. So their program is going to get going through the, what we helped start with our, our donation there. But the... Um, Sheriff's Department. Yeah, the Sheriff's the Department. for the dogs. and the uh, Through Lake Orion, they would work with the uh, Oakland County Sheriff's Department's dog division. Mm -hmm. And after the one dog was killed over in the Macomb County, uh, the Oakland County Sheriff's Department was looking to buy some vests, just oh. like the police officer wears. Why don't the dogs wear them? Yeah. So we bought two of those vests for their dogs and went through the uh, uh, village police department, and they turned around and did it to the county. So we, mm -hmm. we work with all the police and fire in the area. We try to recognize them as much as they recognize us. So yeah. Good time with that. All that money has got to be spent. We can't hang on to it. Sure. It's got to be donated to, to various uh, places like uh, Young Marines, we sponsor them, Boy Scout groups, and uh, various other people who come in that are authorized to, you know, have where we can donate money to them. We'll, we'll do that. So. Yeah. And Memorial Day is not too far away. You guys are pretty active as Memorial Day rolls around, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah. 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 The uh, Orion Veterans Memorial, I think uh, hopefully they're going to be here in a few weeks or shortly. I'm going to hear it because Memorial Day has come and talked about the program because uh, I think it's a very exciting program this year. But our Honor Guard, uh, which we all are part of the Honor Guard, and that's this uniform we're wearing right now, um, we'll be participating, uh, posting the flags and, and uh, mm -hmm. doing that kind of stuff there. But. Uh, Bob and myself, we just yesterday, our honor guard spent the day at Great Lakes National Cemetery doing funerals. And between, uh, we were there at about 8 o'clock in the morning, we left about uh, 2.30, no, about 3 o'clock we left. Mm -hmm. And we did, uh, completed seven, seven funerals yesterday. Wow. And that's but every month. So. We do that every month. Wow. And, uh, Talk about membership. First of all, how does one become a member? And are you facing challenges of, of recruiting new members? What's her next, our, our director of membership? Well, that, yeah, it is a challenge. Uh, we're mostly Vietnam veteran, World War II, and Korea, not too many of those two. But it, it's hard to uh, recruit the younger ones because they have families and such. They're just getting started after their military career of a tour of right. two or something like this. So it's difficult that we are getting a few in right now. I just received one yesterday from a lady that uh, she was in Afghanistan for two tours, so I'm, I have the paperwork to file that this next time, then our next meeting. Yeah. But it's, we, we talk to a lot of people. I think people get overwhelmed sometimes because we're real active. Mm. That, you know, but we don't, we don't put upon anybody to do more than what they're able that's to do. You right. know, their family comes first, 
uh, these kind of things. We don't press them out of their family structure or anything like this. You know, if you're interested in something like a car show, and we have a car show every year, uh, something like that. If it's something you're interested in, we try to get you involved with that so you're in a comfort zone. Right. So anybody wants to, you know, they, uh, they apply, they have to have uh, boots on the ground in a foreign country. That's what the VFW stands for, Veterans of Foreign Wars. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're uh, pretty willing to accept just about any money, and anybody contribute, we're happy to get them. So. All right. That's great. Because all, all those ones with boots on the ground, so they earn the right to be in the yeah. VFW. Our problem is trying to reach to them and to get them to join. A lot of more combat. Rock, yeah, but the a lot of current uh, veterans out there got a bad vision of what the VFW was. They, they, a lot of them look at it, VFW's got a bar, it's a place to go drink cheaply um, and uh, party down and do whatever. But it's one thing in our post is we meet in a church. We don't have a bar. Right. And everything yeah. we do is things to do with our community and giving back to our community. And as Bob said, if you're not available on a program for during the week, maybe you could do something on the weekend. And this past year, we just got a Navy commander who joined our post. And he's working full time uh, down in Madison Heights. And um, but on the weekends, he's not working, so he comes in. And if we got a program going on, say like something at the memorial, he'll be there and he'll just help, help us support it. And the more people we can get to support us, the more visibility, more work we can do for the community. Yeah, Chuck, you said something last time we talked, and I haven't forgotten this, that when you, when you made your oath, when you, when you joined the service, you said that your service didn't end when you were discharged. Talk about that, how, what it means to you to continue to serve. Yep. What you get before you drive any of the branches of service, the first thing you do, you raise your right hand and you basically pledge, it's not pledge of allegiance, but you pledge to the, um, the service, or to the country really, it's not to the service, you pledge to the country. When you make that pledge, it's not, I'm pledging for two years or if I'm pledging for four years, it's a pledge for the rest of your life that you're going to be out there supporting the country and the people in this country. And that's what the VFW is all about, is going out there and doing what we used to do in the military of giving the security of them. Now to, we're going out there and making sure they got food on the table, they got safety, you know, any, anything we can do to give them a better life. And we continue this journey till we can no longer do it. And uh, as Bob said, we still have well, we're down, I think, now about three or two mm -hmm. veterans, but they're still they're still active with us, still and they World do War what they do whatever <laughs> they can to That's support great. us. And I visited one of those World War II veterans today, and uh, they 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 support us. Yeah, they do it. So veterans, and one reason we all wear veterans hats so we can recognize one another, so we can talk to each other. We talk the same language, and. Unfortunately for the younger guys, we just haven't found the language to talk with them to get that drive back in. We do have a few younger ones, but most of them, as Bob said, they're starting their family up and they don't have much time for much other than that when they're right. working two jobs and uh, getting two or three yeah. kids yeah. off. And yeah. so, but, but when those kids start to go to teenagers, they might have some time they can turn around and do more to the community. Yeah. So those of you watching, if you've served overseas and you're looking for ways to serve your community and find some camaraderie with people who've had similar experiences, then you got to look up the VFW. Yep. Um, how can they reach out to you? Uh, I assume social media and that sort of thing? Well, we have a, a, v, a VFW Facebook page, which is very popular because uh, we keep uh, information out there on what we've done or what we're going to do. Uh, one of the things I'll be putting out there tonight, we're working with the woman Marines on Romeo doing a packing party this Sunday night. And I'll put that information out. People who's available, they'll come up, we'll help out, and we do some packing for overseas uh, vets, and uh, overseas active duty people. Uh, last two years, we haven't done a packing event because everybody was coming back to the United States. And plus, the way COVID was, you couldn't get the people together to do it. Yeah. So um, that was kind of went to the uh, wayside, and this one just popped up here 
oh, I think last week it, it came up that the woman Marines got a request from a unit that's over in Poland. And uh, they've been over there a while and they like to have some things from home. So uh, <laughs> we're with put some food together and they got some different types of clothes and that's all being packed up and be shipped out uh, Sunday night and by Monday, Tuesday, somewhere overseas that'll be landing. That's awesome, that's great. Not only the males, but the lady veterans too. Mm -hmm. We take special care to try to take care of some of them. We're doing them with the VA hospital in, in uh, Detroit and Ann Arbor. We've, we supply things for the lady veterans a few think times uh, in this past two years that they don't normally receive a lot of things. So we, I work with a couple of different drives to uh, get donations for just those purposes. And that's above and beyond the poppy sales. And a lot of this is we've uh, been ha happy to work with Myers or they've given us uh, so, uh, a lot of money in the past and, and that we have to help serve these needs and we want to thank them for it. That's great. So Mother's Day weekend, Look for VFW members out and about selling poppies. I think what I'm going to do is uh, hit the ATM and make sure there's some cash in my wallet <laughs> so that when I encounter somebody out there, I'll have it in my holster ready to go. <laughs> so thanks, guys. You're doing, as always, great work in the community. Thanks for coming to the ON TV well, studio, and we're happy to help you get the word out that the poppy shells are coming much. right sure. up. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you for inviting us. Again, Hopefully, if everybody comes out and you see uh, us out there, we'll be all, all kinds of different uniforms out there, but we'll all have the same type of signs we'll be back here. Yeah, there you uh, go. Stop by and talk to us. And Sounds especially great. anybody yeah. who's interested in joining the VFW, stop by and talk to us. Yeah. And, uh, awesome. We'll, 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 we'll carry talk. applications with us. Yeah, yeah we, oh, there we you all show up with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thanks again, and thank, thank you. you for watching Orient Outreach. I'm Joe Johnson. We'll see you next time.